stuff, man. I can't wait. It's going to be a trip, man. All right, last song, amen. I'm going to do this song last because it, it's a very difficult song for me to get through, amen. And uh, for some of y'all that know this song already, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, this song here is called See You Soon. And um, I wrote this song not only for me, but for anybody that's lost a loved one. Amen. Um, it's a tragedy, amen, for something beautiful to come out of it. Um, I was on a plane going back to New Mexico, and um, I had a dream that morning. And, um, in the dream, man, my, my dad said, uh, take the tube out of my throat. My father got into a motorcycle accident. He was in a um, critical care unit for five months. And um, it was terrible. Just flat out, no other way to say it. It was terrible. And um, when I had that dream that morning, and then I woke up and I told my wife, we need to be praying for my dad. And then my mother called and she said, you need to get to here to the house. And so I'm on this plane, man, 30,000 feet up in the air, and I hear the Lord say to me, get out of pen and write this down. And now you're in a place I long to be. It was selfish of me to keep you from that place that you needed to be. I said, Lord, what is this? He says, it's part of a chorus. He said, but you can't write it until you walk it through. My father would go home to be with the Lord a week later, and I would write this song, and this song would uh, not only comfort thousands of people, but it would bring peace to me. Amen. But, uh, out of all the whole thing that happened with me and my dad, you know, for some of y'all that don't know, my father was an abuser for many years of my younger life. And when I got saved, I forgave him. And um, I also asked him to forgive me. And I got a relationship with my father. My mother and father were divorced, but 17 years later I got to watch them come up to me and I married my mother and father back again. Amen. So I watched the power of God working. My father got saved five years before he got, uh, before he went home to be with the Lord. My mother uh, got saved 12 years prior to that. I mean, it was just a work, but this is what tripped me out. The night before the funeral, they asked me to preach. And I said, yeah, I will. And I got on my knees, and I'll never forget, and I said, God, I, I don't need to see my dad until I get to heaven, because I know where he's at. But if I can just hear him say one more time, I love you. He's my father, no matter what, man, he always told me, man, he loved me. Even when I stole everything out of the house, man, from my drug addiction, amen, he would look me in the face and tell me I love you, man. That night, man, I had a dream, and in the dream, my father was laid on a bed of ice. And as soon as his heartbeat stopped, he jumped off that bed, and he was like 16 years old, vibrant and bright, man. I mean, it tripped me out, dude. He was like a young dude. And he walked right up to me, put both of his hands on my shoulders, and we squared eyeball to eyeball, and he said to me, I love you. And I woke up that morning, and I said, thank you, Jesus, for giving me my heart's desire to hear him say one more time, that he loved me. Amen. This song's called See You Soon because it ain't going to be but a minute for some of us. Amen. Amen. It's going to be a minute. Amen. It's going to seem like eternity before we get there, but we will sit down with those that went before us. Amen. And we will sit at that table and you know what we're going to be doing? I know right now we're crying, but I guarantee you when we're up there, we'll be laughing. <laughs> song myself, so it's called See You Soon.
days that I've seen Jesus, which was yesterday.